here we are doing an unboxing for a snack box. I know it's been a couple months. I've actually been sitting on this one for about a month. I canceled the subscription, reactivated it, and we're going to see what we got here. So we have, this is last month's. And then we have another one over here, which is this month's. I forget which one. Either way. We'll find out when we open it. Yep. Trying some new lighting stuff and see how well this works out. Lots of shadow. Okay. We have Coffrali Tirali El Cafe. Product of Italy. We have Wheat Crackers. Original Ramen. We have Ginger Snaps. I believe we've tried this once before, actually. Vanilla flavored. Really? This is like a flavor of ginger snaps? Yeah. Did not know that. What is this? That's different. Baking Stories Olive Oil Cookies with Greek Yogurt, Thyme Honey, and Cinnamon. 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 Mm -hmm. What else is there? Mm -hmm. What is that? Croquants a Paprika. Uh, I don't know, I have to read the card. And that's everything. Alrighty. Coffee cookies. Inspired by the regional flavors of Puglia, the picturesque region of the southeastern coast of Italy. Tier di Puglia specializes in preserving the traditional recipes from the area. These incredible cookies are both light and crisp with delicious chocolate and coffee flavor. Well, let us see if that is true. I will read these as we do them. Instead of reading it all and then doing that. This is... Oh, coffee cookies! I'm excited. It's been a while since I've tried new things. Oh, they're like... They're giant Cheerios! Here you go. Fox Queen Gamer is here. Oh, To my left. This is a... <laughs> it smells like coffee. It smells pretty darn, darn good. Ooh. Reminds me of the coffee that we have. The, um... Jamaican Me Crazy coffee. That's what it smells like. Mmm. That's a very nice flavor. I like this. I like these a lot. Yeah, it's chocolatey with just enough coffee for it to be really nice. That's just, I really, really enjoy that. And that's like a really fresh coffee taste, too. It's not so much a brewed coffee taste as is a coffee bean taste. But that's good. Okay, I'm already happy with this box. Me too. I'm okay. another one. Our next item is going to be Paprika Crackers. Orientines is a small company based in Casablanca that makes cookies and crackers with all natural ingredients and local spices and seasonings. Featuring spicy paprika, subtle oregano, these crackers are the perfect addition to your snacking arsenal. Okay, let's do this thing. That's going to be... They're casting funny. It's a box that's sitting right there! A Sweet! <laughs> Y'all see the box. See the words that it is being displayed. Okay, I'm excited. Too excited. Aluminium? Oh, this is a knife package. Of course. We do have scissors over there, too. Oh, wow. They're strong smelling. Give those a smell. There, you see those? Oh, wow. Those are strong. They remind me of the peanuts. Those peanuts that you get. Um... Which ones are those? They're the cashew ones. The, um, planter's cashew nuts. Please. Mm. 
They're all right. Meh. They're herby. Uh-uh. Yeah. No. no. I mean, they'll be eaten. But, no. But, yeah, it's not something that would go out of my way to eat. It was worth trying at least once. The Cheerio thing is yes. <laughs> I like those, the texture. No. It's a very dry texture, but they're so small that it falls apart easy. And it's pretty nice. It's not spicy. It's just it's herby. It's got a good herby flavor. It's just not my cup of tea. Yeah. Let's see. <coughs> Our next item is ginger snaps, which I actually think we did these once already. Uh, but that was a long time ago, so we'll do them again. Traditionally eaten in Sweden by St. Lucia's Day, a holiday that commemorates a young girl named Lucia, Lucia, Lucia. who secretly brought food to persecuted Christians in Rome. These ginger snaps pair well with hot drinks oh. like tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. I know that story. I thought it was Lucille, though, but okay. Or Lucilia, or something All like right. that. So, here's the ginger snaps. I kind of like the new lighting, I just don't like the shadow. I think if we grab another light, throw it up. Mm -hmm. It might counter the shadow. Either way, let's try the ginger snaps. I'm hoping that they taste just like the last ones that we had. Because I really enjoyed those. I was actually thinking about ordering like just a couple boxes of them. Ah. Um. <laughs> They're quite the kind from, uh, whatchamacallit. They're so good. The nuts are super hard. They're thin. They're easy to chew. These are different. It's a mild vanilla flavor. These are definitely different, but the ginger's not super strong like it was in the other ones. I think that's because of the vanilla. But wow. These are amazing. If you like ginger snaps, these are going to rock your world. Oh, Those are goes. not going to last the night. I have a feeling she's going to knock things over because she's right over there. That's alright. Our cat's being crazy. She knows we're eating stuff and she wants some. But believe me, she if she tried any of it, she would not like it. Definitely enjoying the uh, what we had. Those ginger snaps are definitely top, mm. top notch. Alright, so for our next item, which is from Greece, olive oil cookies with yogurt and honey. The Mediterranean diet is well known for its heart-healthy properties, and these sweet and savory cookies are no exception. Made with olive oil, yogurt, and seasoned with honey and cinnamon, these cookies are a delicious addition to any dessert plate. So, these are the ones I saw that I'm like, oh my god, we have got to try these. They, the box looks very interesting. It's got purple. <laughs> we like purple. Uh, Alright. Made by the company Baking Stories. And that's a pretty decent amount of uh, stuff. Stuff. Oh, our cat, for some reason, she picks up anytime she hears a bag being open. Let me give one to you. Thank you. Alright. Let me give one to you guys. Mmm. -hmm. Good. It tastes like a biscuit, but sweet. Yeah, almost like the butter cookie biscuits. Mm-hmm. But just with sweeter, I mean, you can taste a little bit of cinnamon. The time I can't smell or taste. You can tell that there's olive oil in it, though. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. I mean, it's really good. It's very subtle. If you like subtle flavors, if you like things that are just relaxing to eat and not, you know, overpowering, overpowering this is really good. These aren't going to last tonight either. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so, 
so far I'm really happy with this box. I am ecstatic even. Now the last item I'm very interested about. What is that? <clears throat> ramen crackers by Good Good Eat. This ramen snack looks just like the familiar ramen noodle, but it's actually dried into a crunchy chip, perfectly salted with addictive flavor. We love them topped on soups or salads or straight from the bag. Hmm. This is from Taiwan. Ooh. Now, I've never had anything from Taiwan that I haven't liked. So, we'll see. Hold out your hand. And I like ramen, so... Oh, 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 oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I, I... These aren't gonna... Yeah, these are gonna be gone tomorrow. <laughs> I can tell you that now before I even ate them. Yes. Just, yes. It just looks like dried ramen pieces. Mmm. Good. Very good. It reminds me of... Oh my um, god, where have you been all my life? What else thing is called? Um, they're french fries, but they're sticks. Um... Shoestrings, the shoestring, the shoestring chips. That's what that reminds me of. It tastes just like ramen. Not to me. Well, that I is mean, salty. the flavor is just like ramen. It's not as salty. It is so good. It is definitely. I want more. They they <laughs> hit the nail on the head with that one. I am so gonna order this. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bug you to order this. We're gonna me. have to get like a case of that. <laughs> We're gonna have to like get a case of everything that we got here, except for those croquant things. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. Croquant. Wow. I, I I want more. <laughs> this was a really really good box. Uh, I'd say this is definitely a success. Uh, I, I can't wait to see what. The other one was. The other one is. Uh, both these boxes are going to go up probably the same week because we're probably going to do the next video right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it'll be a separate video for you guys, so you ain't got to be bothered like, with super, super long like, videos. Why is it so long? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I try to keep the videos under 15 minutes only because this way, if you're on break or something and you just need something to waste your time, there you go. <laughs> That's what I do on my breaks. I find YouTube videos that are just long enough where it, it occupies my time. Okay, either way, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope that you liked watching the these uh, unboxings. Uh, we have some plans for some boxes after the new year, and it's going to be really cool. I'll do. I'll be doing some on my channel. He'll still be doing some on his as well. Yeah, something to do with carnivore. That, that's all. That's the only hint I've given you guys. Um, <laughs> But, please, uh, I don't know. It's like, sub subscribe, share with all your friends, and as always, y'all eat happy. Bye, guys.